Hey guys, welcome to part two of my MMA shoot that we did with Darren a couple of weeks ago. Uh, part one, I'll leave a card right there. We go through some portraits and I kind of go through the lighting setup. So for part two, we're gonna be doing more light painting and utilizing rear curtain sync. So if you don't know what rear curtain sync is, it's when the flash goes off or the strobe goes off at the end of the shutter cycle. So in this case, we've got a two, sec uh, two second exposure. I'm gonna use this. I think this is an old theater device, maybe used to focus light. Uh, on, on actors on stage, but for today's purpose, it's gonna re represent our shutter. So what we do is we click our button, our shutter opens up for our two, cycle, two second exposure. At this point, it's capturing motion with our consistent lighting that we have. And just before the shutter closes, that's when the strobe, the rear curtain sink, happens and, and the strobe goes off and, and we capture the motion and we, ca we, freeze the, we freeze the motion of our subject. So what you need to do to set up this shot is you need to have your camera on your tripod, frame everything, talk with your talent, have them go through the motions, figure out the timing of the motions. Again, mine was a two second exposure. So we spoke about, you know, you're gonna do a couple of motions and your end point is gonna be at that two seconds or just a, mil a millisecond pr prior to that. What you also want to do is have your end point and have a, your lock your focus in, on, focus in on the end point. So what you can do is you can put a piece of green painter's tape on the ground um, and just explain to your subject that whenever they're doing their finishing move, you need them to end at that point. So then you want to set up your lighting. So kill all the light in the room, shut off all the lights, remove all the ambient light from, from your, uh, um, from your from the room. So to do that, just take a couple of shots. If you see any lights, you gotta take care of it, you gotta remove it, um, or you're gonna have to make some kind of adjustments because it's gonna ruin your shot. Next, start incorpor incorporating your consistent lighting. So from my case, I had my subject at the start point. I had two uh, Apollo strips with uh, ELB 400s, just using the modeling lights um, on, on the subject. Have them go through the motion Take a couple of test shots, make sure you're getting enough of that painted in to your image. And then you wanna start incorporating your rear curtain sink strobe. So uh, for my case, I had that at the finishing point. I set up the light with them in their finishing move, however I wanted it to be. Um, again, explaining that, that that green tape is imperative that that's where they're stopping. And then set your, set your power for your, uh, for your rear curtain strobe. Then, you just gotta start playing around. You gotta start practicing. So have your, have your subject go through, take your images, and uh, that's what we had to do. We did a, a lot of images, and um, we're gonna go through a couple of them here. Um, so let's, let's just go through them now. Doing your, your final. Right? <laughs> right? You gotta be up, up in the like air. This. Like this. Like, and try and get yourself up in the air like, like that. Right, remember that you're hitting a brick wall, so you're, everything's just stopping. Okay, so here I'm just explaining to uh, Darren that he's got to keep his left arm lower uh, because it's kind of it was blocking his chin, and then his right arm it kept on kind of coming over in front of his face. So I'm I'm trying to explain to him so that um, it's like hitting a brick wall, so that he's not continuing with his motion. Uh, because if he continues with this motion, then we're probably not going to get the shot. It's going to flex your, your cool. stomach muscles, okay. your core. Your core is much more professional than your stomach muscles. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. There we go. Just a little bit of movement. And as you can see here, it's close. We have a lot of good so movement. Close. But again, the glove is blocking his face. So what happens is that... If there's shadow, you can kind of see through the image. You can see through him. So you want to make sure that nothing is blocking your light from where you want the main attraction of your image to be. So you want to keep that arm like this so that your face needs to be seen by this guy all the time. So you're just like, <laughs> like that. Okay. Right? Yeah. Two, three. That was close. That's pretty darn good. It looks like you're getting right into it there. Boom. Like. That face though. 
Yeah. That's pretty darn good. And see how the, the, your, the flex on your bicep there? Yeah. That's pretty sick. Can do another good one? Yeah. Maybe better. Yep. Okay. One, two, three. Keep that arm down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll that. Stop okay. locking your face, man. You gotta get a shot. Lock <laughs> that face. Arm. Too bad. The other arm. The front arm. Oh, front. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> get some fucking <laughs> shoelace on that and tie it to your pants. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. Awesome. Sorry, that was bleeping awesome. I'm gonna have to block that out because that was that's it though. That's come on, get the as soon as we got focus. Like that's pretty awesome man. That's awesome. Oh uh, what do you think man? I like it, it's up to you, man. Yeah, that looks good. Let's go for one more. Okay. Just because we got it. I know we got it now. Sweet. That's awesome. This one here is really good where we got the shot. I'm going to show this straight out of camera. Then our Lightroom edit and then the Photoshop edit. I don't really do a lot in Photoshop, um, just kind of remove uh, things and do a little bit of uh, dodge and burn with shadows and highlights. Darren's pretty ripped, so we don't need to do a lot to create muscle definition. So here we're doing more of a shot that I want for an Instagram uh, post. Uh, because Instagram is more of a portrait style as opposed to landscape, I wanted the, the distance to be shorter. So we kind of had to adjust his, his motions um, and just make sure that we had enough painting. And as you can see, there's the Lightroom edit and then the Photoshop edit. So that's that guys, thanks again for watching. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that wonderful YouTube stuff. So uh, let's talk about the elephant in the room. This is the Canon 85mm 1.2 RF lens, the brand new one. The predecessor to this lens, I had for a while, I got rid of it. I love the images that I got from it, but the keeper rate was like, it was just too slow. The autofocus was way too slow. Um, this one is apparently a lot better. So I'm gonna be shooting an MMA fight tonight and we're gonna test out how quick the eye autofocus is with new updated EOS R and the 85 1.2 RF lens. So uh, stay tuned for next one, guys. We'll catch you then. Thanks. <laughs>